everyone, welcome back to Studio 33 Art by Kay. Today I'm going to do a beautiful, hopefully, dahlia using a spoon as per what I've seen Camila Moy do on YouTube and she does a beautiful job and she did challenge us all um, to have a go at this technique so I'm going to do that. Also another person I'd like to acknowledge that I've seen do this technique is designer Gemma 77 on YouTube and she does all sorts of wonderful art um, and uses the spoon on some of her pieces as well so I'd like to acknowledge both of them in my uh, learning of this technique. Today I'm doing this on a big place mat um, I think it's 38 centimeters across and it's already got a cork backing on it so I've covered that um, with plastic to keep the cork clean and as you can see it's got a Christmas pattern and I bought these placemats really cheaply from the local Kmart because they were discontinued so I've just put down some of the Araldo Ballet slipper opaque paint which is mixed with flow troll Australian flow troll um, just in the hope that the opaqueness will cover up this um, pattern that's on here already so I put a little puddle in the middle and now I'm just going to spin that out in the hope that that will make it nice and smooth so here we go and that's pretty smooth so I'll just burst any bubbles so I'm using today I'm going to use some of the pouring masters luster white metallic pearl because it gives a bit of lacing and I did just want a little bit of lace now I know daily doesn't usually have a bit of lacing on it but my idea of this is for there to be a bit of lacing in there. I'm also going to use the, Mont the Montmartre Rose Matter, which is a colour that I really love. And I'm also going to use the Montmartre Pouring Paint Shiraz. And the Pouring Masters Strawberry Red Metallic Pearl. Now around the very edge, but just towards the bottom of this piece, I'm going to put down some of the Pouring Masters Green Apple Metallic Pearl, which I uh, love that green. Just my idea is that I'm going to have a, a large flower. Towards the bottom, I'm just going to have a bit of greenery as if we're looking at the flower um, from the bottom up. Um, so that will just give us that little bit of greenery down this way. I'm not going to actually do a stalk. So that's my idea. Uh, whether how that will turn out I don't know so the first bit I'm going to put down is just this little strip here and I'll do that little bit of balloon that little bit of spoon work on there I'll just put a little bit of the metallic pearl as well now I've just got a plastic spoon and I'm going to be swiping away from me so I figured out that when I swipe towards me, I don't have as much control. So I'm just going to be swiping away. And that's why having it on the turntable here just makes it so much easier. So I'm just going to swipe this away. I need something decent to keep my spoon clean. I don't want this going too far because I just want it to be an edge around the bottom. I can see through the um, pattern of the placemat slightly here where I'm wipe, wiping the paint off a bit, but that's okay. I don't think I'll notice it too much. If you are painting over the top of something that has a pattern on it, um, you can actually just do a, a base coat first that you then let dry and then paint, um, you know, do your pour painting over the top of it later. So they're, they're actually really beautiful. They've got lots of little bits of lacing on there, which I like. I'll put a little bit more paint just there. Just a little bit thin. Okay, so now I'm going to put the um, rose matter down first because I want when I'm doing my sp uh, spoon work to have a bit of a darker edge 
So I'm just going to run this around, starting here. And I probably won't get a very good circle. Okay. Um, now I'm told you shouldn't have too much paint on. If you've got too much, then you'll um, it makes it harder when you're trying to do your little um, spoon swipes. So make sure you don't put too much paint down. And this one is the Montmartre Pouring Paint Shiraz, which is one of my favourite pinks. And then I'm going to lay down the Pouring Master Strawberry Red, which is a beautiful colour. And a tiny bit of the Pouring Master's metallic white. I'm just going to put that over all of that. So this is just my take on this technique. So just get my little spoon, get the green off that was already on there. Make sure it's clean. And now just gently swiping away. Just using the edge of the spoon. And then wiping in between each swipe. Okay, you can see that beautiful bit of lacing I've got there. Loving it, loving it. So, same colours again. Rose Matter. Okay, very pretty, very pretty. So now our next round.
not perfect, but it's still very interesting. And I'd like to finish off the middle just with a bit of a balloon smash and I'll get rid of a bit of that paint that's sort of um, coming back into the center there. So I'm just going to do a little, a few little circles of my paint in the middle there. And then I'm just going to keep on smashing it until I get the um, paint out. And I think I might just put a little bit of the Global Black Cell Activator in the center there just to sort of create the look of little stamens. So I've just got a balloon here. Just a normal balloon that I've blown up and you can see I've already used it for other things. Now I'm just going to smash in the middle. And I'll do that several times just to get rid of some paint out of the center there. It's quite a lot of paint in the middle. Getting there now. little bits I need to tidy up here where I've splattered as I've been flicking the spoon now what I've seen Camille do is actually get a skewer or similar and just run it between the petals just to give them a bit more definition so I've just got a um, bam oh, bamboo skewer here which I just managed to put a splinter in myself so I'm just going to run those into the center just to give some shape to the petals similar to when I do a, um, a normal bloom and I do the same thing just to get some shape into the petals And around the edges, I think I'd just like to do a little bit of, um, just take these up a little bit.
I just like to do a few little black stamens in the middle there. I'm just going to lay down a little bit of black paint. Um, it's actually cell activated, so hopefully it won't be too runny. I'm just... Oh, yeah, it's going to be a bit runny. We should have just used some black straight out of a bottle, actually. Right. I think I'm nearly done. I just like that little bit of green there. I like that. It's sort of coming from underneath the, the flower. And I do like my cells. I'm just going to hit it with the heat embossing tool just to burst any bubbles. I see another couple of little spots there that have um, come on. So you just use the other end of your skewer and just gently tap into your paint and that will get rid of any of those little splatters. There's a few more than I thought I had done. Okay, so I think I'll leave that there and I'll just bring you down for a close-up. So here we come down for the close-up. I'm really quite happy with this. Um, I haven't done too many of these in the past. And I did want to get that little bit of lacing going on. I'm not sure if that makes it too busy um, and whether I'm better off just having the variation in colors instead. Let me know what you think, guys, um, whether I've overdone it by having the cells in there or whether that just makes it um, quite different. But I am quite liking my petals. Obviously, I can practice this more. But hopefully, that's given you the encouragement to have a go at this technique. Unlike anything, it takes practice. Um, but I actually do really like what I've done here today. So, there we have it. And uh, as I say, let me know what you think of it in the comments and whether you think next time I should do it without the, um, the white uh, metallic pearl which has created those cells. I'd love your opinion. Okay, see you back here in Studio 33 in the not-too-distant future. Until then, stay safe. Bye-bye.